Oh, geez, that was too loud. <laughs> hey, hello, my, uh, my, uh, destructive, uh, dorks. It's your boy, Zionic Blader. Sorry, that was rude, but, uh, whatever. It's my video. I can do whatever I want. Ha 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 ha. Sorry about that. Don't unsubscribe, please. Anyways, uh, this is your boy, Zionic Blader, and today we are going to be unboxing and roll testing the Aqua Snilius Ultra and Darkest Hydrus Ultra Baku gear pack. Now this is the first Baku gear pack that uh, I have uh, decided to open. We got the Aqua Snilius Ultra, Darkest Hydrus Ultra, Pyrus Pegatrix Core, and Ventus Feral. It'll be interesting to see Ventus Feral, but yeah, um, Honestly, I, I haven't picked these. I haven't. It took me a long time to pick up the uh, back of gear packs, because honestly, it's like forty bucks. You know, um, forty bucks, and usually there's only like one backagon that I want from a set, and uh, when when you only when you're spending forty bucks for just one backagon, it's a tough pill to swallow. Heck, it took me very very long to get the Darkest Hydrus Ultra and. Uh, Aurelis Garganoid Ultra ba Battle Gear Pack, and that thing was actually really, really good and came with five Bakugan. So, for these Baku Gear Packs, I just like, I literally just got them when they went on sale. Like, this thing was like 50% off, so I got it. Like, $19.99 for four Bakugan. I mean, it's not much, it, it's like, what? You spent, it's like $5 less than the three packs, and you get an extra Bakugan, and whatever piece of contraption they decide to shove down your throat with this set. But, uh, let's, uh, oh yeah. At 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a competitive review of the contents of this set, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And at the end of the video today, we're going to be unboxing a, uh, I mean, uh, um, a pack opening of Bakugan Battle Brawlers with the, uh, Aquas Hydrus, you know, we have Darkest Hydrus over here, and I have knives, yeah, but anyways, without further ado, let's uh, open this thing. Now, I'm gonna be a bit more, a bit more cautious with how I open this pack. Okay, screw it. Just open it like this. So the gosh darn back of storage cases. This isn't necessary. Look at this. Look how much wasted plastic this is. At least with Geogun Rising, they reduce it by half, but like, jeez, come on. Hey, at least you can use this as like a background or something, but I have a nice background already. Maybe? If you can stand it up? Yeah, okay, forget about that. But, let's take a look at the cores. Man, I really miss the international versions where you got three of each. So it looked like a, like a starter deck or something. That was always funny to see. But nah, they had to they have to cheap out and say no, it's for internet, it's for distribution. Even though distribution didn't really help, but hopefully distribution gets better because we've got gimped products now. <laughs> it's a bit rude for me to say, but whatever. Oh, I, why don't I even? I'm not even showing you the card. We got darkest dark daggers. Four cost gear card gives the back on 200 B power and five damage. A uh, bit price bit on the pricey side. It can be played for two. So you know, two uh, two beep, two energy for a permanent five damage boost. It's not bad, but there are better back there are better back gears out there like uh, scorching swords. You can use that. It's a two cost, so it can be played for free on the uh, gear reduction core, and it also uh, gives you a nice boost. I also have shadow strike. Sorry, yeah. Let me have uh, use the light. What does the light say? Aqua Greaves. It's a uh, Five cost gives you four frost strike, 200 B power, and four damage. Also, again, a bit too expensive, but I can see it's worth considering it gives you four frost strike. Next, we got uh, oh, there we go, Ventus Feral, Helix Core, and Green Fist, which is a solid uh, lineup. But the uh, stat line is 505, so at the very least, you're going to be wanting to use this for damage with the uh, minus 200 plus five Helix Core. Then we have Pegatrix. Magic Shield and Fire Fist, which is a great core lineup. It has an innate double strike. Unfortunately, none of its stats are worth uh, mentioning. 400 B power, that gets you to what, 1050? That hasn't been good since Wave 1 of Backing on Battle Planet. And then one damage, which I mean, what the f with the Fire Fist, you land on the plus 6 Fire Fist, that's what, 7? Eh, it's not, you're not going to be really hitting, uh, you're not going to really, it's not really going to be worth using at all. 
just use like tr uh, um, the much better back again out there. Then you have Darkus Hydra's Ultra. It's a Green Fist and Shield, which is a horrible core lineup. And has a stat line of 604, which is very disappointing. This Bakion reaches stats that we would have seen in Wave 1. And then we have Nilius Ultra, Magic Shield and Green Fist. Uh, 500 B power and 3 damage. Nothing special over here. However, it does have a... Uh, I believe it does have a uh, uh, epic character card that makes it worth using. Uh, I, I, I forgot. I wrote the script of this like a few days ago before making the unboxing, so I do... I, I did forget what the epic character card is, but uh, it has Frost Strike or something, and it's pretty decent. You use this guy for damage wins plays, and also, apparently this guy can double core, but I'll be the judge of that when we do the testing later. And then we have uh, Ventus Mashers, 2 cost, 200 B power, not not the best, but you know what, 2 cost, you can play for free, so yeah, pretty good. And the Pyro Cannon, 2 cost again, 100 B power and 2 damage, not bad, 2 cost, which means you can play it for free on the gear reduction core, which, uh, I mean, this uh, gear reduction was super popular back when uh, Wave 1 Armored Alliance came out. I'm not sure if people still use the gear reduction cores. Uh, well, I mean, at least to the extent that it was before. But uh, still, they're still pretty solid and nice to have. And give nice protection for the core. A nice hefty amount of cores here. Alright, first up is... The plus six, 600 Magic Shield Core, which is not good. Plus 150, plus 4, not good. Plus 500, minus 1, it's okay. You want to get the uh, minus 2 gear reduction. And you also don't want your Magic Shield to be gear reduction. You want your Magic Shield to be like 650. Then we have the 100 B power, plus 1 damage, minus, two, minus 1 gear cost. Remember, you want to aim for that minus 2 gear cost. Like this over here, plus 200 B power and minus two gear cost. Uh, when it comes to gear reduction cores, really the boost that you get in stats isn't as important as the gear cost. As long as it's minus two, it's worth using. But if you do have better stat cores with the minus two gear cost, then use that. But uh, at, the, at the end of the day, you just want that. You want to get that minus two. And then uh, plus 150 plus two, nope. Plus 300 plus three, nope. And plus three minus one. So, yeah, uh, luckily we do get this one, this shield, the plus 200, minus 2 gear reduction. This is like the best one to get because honestly it, it gives, like, that minus 2 get, opens up so many things. Like, you can literally play this card for free. Like, who and who doesn't want to play cards for free, right? But anyways, let's uh, take a look at the Bakugan that we get. Jeez, that took forever. Man, these security tags are really something, huh? Especially on Aquas Nilius Ultra. They literally had the tag right on his little head. So, that was annoying to do. But hey, let's take a look at the back again. The core is we got uh, Pyrus Pegatrix Core. I mean, uh, nothing too fancy in its ball form. But, uh, let's see how it looks in... There we go. Core. I think this might be the first... Core Pegatrix for Bakuyan Armor Alliance that I've ever opened. Pretty uh, neat looking, yeah, definitely much different from its uh, Battle Planet counterpart. I prefer the Battle Planet counterpart. It, it looked less, uh, you know, busy. But hey, let's see how easy this is to close. Oops. I don't even know what the heck. Ah, jeez. Can I just force that? Oh, I can't. Ah, come on. Alright. Head. Okay, front legs are in. Now, tail. Back legs. We close it. There we go. Got it close. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and then now we have... Uh, Ventus Feral. This is, I think, my second Feral or my third Feral. Yeah, I think I have a Darkus and I also have a uh, Aurelis Diamond one. Okay, oh, there we go. There we go. Feral. Pretty long back on. Nice, nice Sphinx looking kind of creature over here. And let's see. 
legs go back head maybe I don't know oh wait no the head flips over so the legs go back the head flips over and it's locked over here and then I think we can close like this and then there you go nice and it's ball form I don't really like the look of the uh, Ventus one I like the darkest one the darkest one is really cool and speaking of darkest we have darkest Hydrus Ultra very nice very nice and they have the the gosh darn hot dog holder face over here now should be pretty easy to close like maybe what the heck oh geez this is messed up now I gotta if I can fix it ah Oh no! What the heck? Why is it like this? Ah! Alright. Legs up. Main. Push. Close. And there we go. Finally, after a million years. We did it. Okay, and now... Aquas Nilius Ultra. Very nice looking in... Uh, uh, in its aquas form. Now this is the back end you're gonna get the set for Yeah, because of apparently double cores, but I'll be the boss now. I, I, I can see that you know the uh, the magnets all the way over here. That's like all the way in the back So I can definitely see how uh, How easy it is for it to double core, but uh, yeah, let's see how it looks with uh, its back gear All right now, the back of gear, this stuff was, like, stuck in there. Like, the, these ones, because of the pegs, they were, like, stuck in the packaging. So it was kind of annoying. And then... There we go. That's really nice looking. It looks like a, uh, a kaiju. I know, it, I know the, my first impression from when I saw this back on is that it looks like the claw from that really old movie. But yeah, I, I, I kind of I like how the uh, the gear just clips on with the magnet. That's pretty nice. But yeah, it's an it's a nice looking figurine, but I mean, it's de like considering they're asking like seventeen ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine for something like this. I I don't think it's worth that much money. Like like thirteen dollars, yeah, thirteen fourteen dollars definitely. But you know, nineteen ninety nine that's more expensive than a Beyblade. That's how much two Beyblades cost, you know. So yeah, but hey, this the clear plastic is really good. Man, I really wish this came out in like wave two, because wave two, at least for the the back of gear packs, is when they started doing the translucent uh, back on with the gears, which almost made me want to get it. But I mean, honestly, for the cost, it's way too much. And I'll see how to close it. Okay, and then. We ended off with that. There we go. We did it. That was annoying. What the heck? <laughs> oh well. At least I didn't throw away the instruction manual. But hey, now let's uh, see how these back on roll with a roll test. All right. There we go. We got the time for the roll test. First off, let's do the cores. We'll be very quick with the cores because I mean, they're cores, so they shouldn't. Uh, Dude, we'll do them a couple times, see how uh, well they roll. Keep the magnet down, roll it backwards to two core lengths away, then there we go, got what we wanted. Alright, let's do it again. 3, to 1, brawl. There we go, we got it. Nice. Now time for Pyrus Pegatrix. We'll take that, roll it backwards. And three, two, one, back on brawl. Oh, come on, that that you saw that it it, it at least latched onto it very quickly. Gotta do it lighter. All right, core down, roll it backwards, and then roll. There we go. And oh hey, is that a double core? Nah, almost a double core. Hey, okay, okay, we'll do it one more time. Right, 
core down, roll it backwards, and three, two, one, back on brawl. There we go. And this, I found this one a lot more easier than uh, the Ventus uh, Feral, at least. But hey, now let's get on to the actual Ultra Bakugan. We're going to start off with uh, Darkest Hydrus Ultra. Now, we did a Darkest Hydrus Ultra already. So uh, we're not going to do, we're not going to spend too much time on this Bakugan. Because we already know how how it rolls. It doesn't, it doesn't double core frequently. So let's just roll it a couple times and go from there. Place next to the core that we want. Roll it backwards. Three, two, one, back again, brawl. There we go. Roll backwards. Three, two, one, go. There we go. That's uh, Darkest Hydrus. Whoops. All right. It's time for Aquas Nilius. Okay, we're gonna roll this forward a few times and we'll roll it backwards a few times. We'll see which one is uh, better. Apparently, this thing double cores, like very frequently, to the point where it's actually uh, part of the uh, playstyle that you kind of assume that this guy's gonna double core all the time. All right, let's see. So the pressure's on. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Uh, that's <laughs> next up. Three, two, one, back on brawl. Okay. Alright, we'll try it again. Okay, we're gonna roll it again forward. Three, two, one, back again, brawl. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! Oh. I didn't know it could pick up cores like that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Holy cow! No wonder people say, oh, it's in double core. Because you can pick up cores both from the bottom of the tail and the top of the tail. No wonder it no wonder people say this is a double coring backing on. Jeez, it could... It... Wow, that's amazing. Wow, so... That's really interesting. Because the magnet is in an area where it can be picked up from the front or the bottom... That, that's really, really cool. Alright, let's do another one. Let's do another one. This is forward. We'll do another forward one, then we'll move to backwards. Roll it backwards. Three, two, one, back again. Brawl. Okay, I guess we gotta get it to uh, land forward as well. And not just uh, be, be like hopping up. Three, two, one, back again. Brawl. Oh, I mean, roll backwards, sorry. Go. And this might be a double core. Nope, it's not a double core. Three, two, one, back again, brawl. Oh, there we go. That was a double core. Let's see. Three, two, one, back again, brawl. Okay, there we go. Got the double core again. <laughs> So I think forwards is the way to go. Let's make that for sure. What's that? Or did I do it backwards? All right. So this is right now. We're gonna go forwards, and we'll see what happens. Nice. That was forwards, and that was a double core. That was two double cores in a row, actually. Let's see how many times in a row we can do a double core. Done, bro. Yeah, there we go. That's three double cores in a row. Three, two, one, back end brawl. Oh. Hey, you got four in a row. Three, two, one, back end brawl. There we go. Double core again. Oh my goodness. That was the fifth time in a row. Alright. Three, two, one, back again brawl. Oh, shoot, man. Six times in a row? farther can we go can we get 10 times in a row I can't I shouldn't have said that now if I don't get 10 times in a row, I'm gonna be very sad three two one back you on bro oh 
Seven times in a row, guys. Seven times in a row. Yo, eight times. I didn't think I'd get that. Because it was in the it was on the side. So I I wasn't expecting the magnet to be so strong that I could pick up the core from the side as well. Remember, I haven't been measuring the past few attempts, the last attempts, because I kind of just got it set. Like, this is what I want to see when I'm two card lengths away. So, three, two, one, back again, brawl. Oh. No! We didn't, we didn't get that, uh, we didn't get that uh, double core, but, I mean, if I was measuring, you know, it probably would have done better. Like, the last, like, three or four attempts, I wasn't measuring, and I got double cores. So, like, wow, guys. Absolutely amazing. Alright, so, uh, yeah, like, for these Bakugan, I mean, they're fine. Whatever, whatever, that's not the main point. But this, Aquas Nilius Ultra. So, when I first heard about this whole double coring thing, I always saw it as like, ah, oh, it's a fluke. Oh, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really impact too much. It's not really uh, consistent enough. However, I started hearing a lot, a lot about uh, two Bakugan, uh, Ventus Nilius Ultra, as well as Ventus Ramparian Ultra. Now, I did get double cores a, a bit consistent with the Gillator, but that was more like a 50% kind of thing. But this thing, like, it, you just saw, I got like seven in a row, and that, that goes beyond luck. Like, two in a row, I can see as luck. Three in a row, you know, like, super lucky. But seven, eight in a row, like, that is not luck when it goes to that point. That is, like, like that. Ba this Bakugan can actually pick up so many cores. And now the thing, the reason why is because this Bakugan can pick up cores from the top of the tail, the bottom of the tail, even, like, the side of the, t side of the tail, too, maybe. Yeah. This, it can, it magnetize, like, even the side of the tail... Like, look at this, guys. Like, like, yeah, this this magnet is like just like see, look at that two. Can I even fit three? Let's see. Let me. See. Nah, let's say, but yeah, like two cores. You know, I have to shake it for it to fall down. But yeah, it can pick up a core from the side of the tail. The top of the tail and the bottom of the tail. No, I don't think any other Bakugan can do that. Like, the magnet is just, like, at the tip of the tail. So, it, it's so easy for it to pick up a core, you know? So, you know, like, I'm able to measure the first core. I don't think you can really consistently choose your second core. But, like, honestly, it, it, it's amazing. Like, it, it's honestly really cool. Just to get the at least the raw stats of what you get. It, it's honestly really cool. Now, there is a backside of this, at least from my experience. Because you can't really control which core, the second core that you get, I think maybe someone can control that, but just from my beginning, my beginner, my, my beginner's test testimonial, like, uh, I can't really control, or I'm not sure you can control which second core that you get. Uh, and because of that, if you're... If you only have one core of a certain core, and that's the core that you really need another Bakugan to have, and you accidentally take it from it, that could mess up uh, your, your whole plan. However, at the same time, you can probably just roll this guy last as your team attacker, and then you won't have to worry about your the core that you want for like your Aquas Hydrus or your, you know, your Magic Shield guy. You don't have to worry about that core going missing. So yeah, honestly, uh, this is very interesting. Like, um, I would still, when building a deck, take a look at the base stats, but if the Nilius is, like, within the range or, or within the range of competitiveness, then honestly, I would consider putting it in the team. Like, Ventus Nilius Ultra. Like, Ventus Nilius Ultra is already a top contender, and with it being able to pick up two cores so consistently, you know, that could make it number one. I know some people, uh, like, it, it, like it's arguably, it could be, it can be number one. You know, I know some people go for Ventus Dragon at core and some people go for Ventus Nilius Ultra. You know, it, it's more of a preference thing. But like considering that we're able to consider it as number one, you know, in some instances, it's very good for the mold. Now, as for Aquas Nilius Ultra itself, this Bakion you're using for damage plays because of its Frost Strike and for the epic character card in the evolution. So, I mean, um, there's a bit more 
to it for Aqua Snilius Ultra. But like Ventus Snilius Ultra, that guy is like top dog. Like that guy is really good. You know, if if you if you want to use a, a Nilius Ultra, go for Ventus Nilius Ultra. I'm 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 still I'm still sure certain that you can go for Aqua Snilius Ultra. But I think that Aqua's Hydra's core, like it's its stat line is just so high at 1500 that you know it is like you know this guy is for damage aquas hydrus is for b power you know that kind of thing but yeah i've been rambling too long about this guy i'm, I'm just very impressed with this bakugan you know now i understand why people are like oh aqua snilly soldier is like the best bakugan and like you know i can see i can see where they're coming from but yeah remember i'm going to be doing a competitive review of this uh, uh this set in uh in at 3 p.m i don't go too deep into the double coring but I do talk about how uh, Aqua Snilius Ultra is used for damage wins plays. But uh, before we end today, let us open a pack of Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Now let's see, I wonder what we can get from this Aqua Hydrus pack of Battle Brawlers. You know, uh, we haven't had the hottest luck with these packs so far. I mean, we've only opened like, what, seven, eight or something? But we'll see. Now we got the Luminous Armor, Pandox Punch, Cloak in Shadow, Shine, Wither, Dark Fire. Then we have a Sowing Seed. It's a flip card with an effect. And then we have Aquas Hydrus Ultra, the Diamond Evolution. Okay. Hyper Mantinoid Ultra, Bakugan Elite. There we go. I've been I, I need another I, I've been wanting more copies of this Bakugan's evolution. Like it's not it's nothing uh, it's nothing too fancy. It's a four cost with a stat line of 1001, but it does it gets one damage for each of your energy cards you have in play. So I mean uh, yeah, this is like like back in uh, wave 1, this is pretty solid. But nowadays not so much, but still it's pretty good. And then we have Hyper Dragonoid, Aurelis Hyper Dragon. Wow, look at that shine there, folks. Nice. We finally got something that I actually wanted to pull. Hyper Mantinoid Ultra. I only had one copy of this. This is my second. So, you know, I wanted to get a, a play set eventually. So that's good. But anyways, this has been Zionic Blader. If you like the video, hit the like button or don't. I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.